Yeah. What's okay. happening? We're here to protest the auction that should not be held because it's taking people out of their homes. And we need homes for everybody. It's not right that people have to live in their cars and raise their families in cars. We need homes. It's a legal right. It's a human right to have homes. What we're doing? Um, not that I want police to be reading my lips. Uh, we're going to go up and do a mic check and try to disrupt the, the auction. Are they stopping you? Are they, have they we don't know in yet. any way tried? We haven't tried. Auction today. Got your cashier's check. I sure okay. do. Ready for admittance. So, uh, so who are you anyway? What are you doing? Uh -huh. I'm Holly Richardson. I'm here at the City Hall this evening, and I've got my cashier's check, and I'm ready to go in. I'm ready to see what's going to happen with these residential homes they're trying to auction, and I'm actually ready to stop the auction. What about us? Have anything you want to say? Um, not really. Just the city needs to stop taking people's homes for next to nothing. Okay, work work out a payment plan with these people, especially if they have the money. If they can work something out, you know what I'm saying? We've got a payment plan. Let people stay in their homes. We've been in their houses 26 years and the city wants to take them. It's not fair. Not fair. Okay, these are all the people in front of City Hall in Springfield. June 18th, 2013. Hi. I'm not
profit. Hopes for people, not for profit. Hopes for people, not for profit. Not for profit. Let's go. No more action! 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 that they auctioning right now in Portland is owned by um, one of the people that belong to Stone Soul Fest, Stone Soul Fest, and he's, um, he lost that house. It was just, he was just on the porch, and now I come back, I walk by, and it's boarded up. And there's a few more, like for the last couple of days, I've been seeing boarded up that I recently walked past, and they were people living there. And you wouldn't believe that. You didn't know they were in trouble, and now it's being auctioned so fast. There's plenty of houses on my block. My house, I'm still living in my foreclosed house since 2000. 2010, I'm not going anywhere, and I promise you I'm not going anywhere. There's no for, so, for sale sign in front of my, my house. There's no for sale sign in front of any of these houses that are abandoned because they got thrown out from due to foreclosure and the lack of knowledge of staying in the house. Candia Pink, C-A-N-D-E-J-A-H Pink, P-I-N-K. So kind of talk to me a little bit about why you're here protesting tonight. Well, first of all, the city is taking homes away from people who are struggling to pay their taxes. And we're working with one man right now who only owes $6,000. He offered them $1,600. They refused to take it. His house could be up at the next auction. It's wrong. The city needs to work harder with people and let them pay what they can until they can get caught up instead of taking their homes away from them. Second, with all these empty homes, the city should put these houses in trust so that a nonprofit can develop them for permanently affordable housing, get them out of the hands of speculators. They don't make much money on these auctions. It's not worth it. Right. And now the city has said, you know, everyone pays taxes. These people have had chances to pay taxes, but they've fallen behind. Reaction to that? Well, the guy that we're working with is elderly. He's disabled. He did fall behind. He didn't realize how far behind he was. And he's trying very hard to get caught up. But they're not taking his money. They're refusing his money. So how can he get caught up if they won't let him pay off what he can? Anything else you'd like to add that I haven't touched upon? 
Yeah, the amount of money that the city is making for this auction is one five hundred of the city's overall budget. The city does not need this money, and they need to stop auctioning these homes. Do you know where in the city majority of these homes are? Are they from the Many tornado? Many of them are in McKnight. No, I don't think any of them are tornado casualties. Many of them are in McKnight. They're all over the city. Okay. The one thing I'm not sure about was um, who exactly owned it, but it was told to me that the person owned it for 25 years. $5,600 is what is how it was taken from them. That's you mean he owed five thousand six hundred dollars in back taxes, taxes? Right. Yes. And, and he's the man who said, "I will pay you part of it now, and and let's work out a way I can a payment." Oh, plan. I'm not sure about that, but I do uh -huh. know that twenty eight years. That's that's pathetic with the city. When the city got, I don't know if I mentioned that they got eight hundred thousand dollars just for application fees for a casino that they only had to choose one from, and it was non refundable. And you're telling me that you. You still can't help the people. The tornado hit us, and most of the houses that were affordable, they didn't bother to fix it, and they just want to keep continue to auction off our houses without keeping us in, and that's sad. Right. I bring it, I bring it, I bring the 600 and support up to come pay. They take that one. So I'm waiting on them now to see. No. How long they have me? Because they have the lean on it. So I want to know if they would work with me still. So where do you go to from here? What happens next for you? If you want to take my looking for people's names, I think everybody here was told to leave. It's too hard to talk about. Do you mind just telling me your first and last name? Milton Forbes. Milton Forbes. How do you spell his last name? F O R B E S. That's all right, Mr. Forbes. We're going to try to help you. Don't worry. Okay? <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Forbes. I hope everything works out for you. Oh, definitely. Be sensitive to the fact. And I need to tell 22 that too. Right. Because they don't do it. They don't do it. You need to be sensitive to the fact. No, I already know about no, CBS is the best. Wait, yeah. <laughs> I already know. Thank you. CBS I will. is the best. I will make sure. This is a. This is a Man, listen, this is crazy. You Would you like to I mean? give me an interview? Just, I, I just, just talk about this whole yes, situation. I will. I'm yes. not being, I'm not okay. directly involved. Right, yeah, no, I have just, friends that you involved, just general you thoughts. Involved, you involved. Is my hair okay? No, for it, for it. Your hair good. Okay, don't All get right. me crying. Though. All right. Hey, hey, tell no tell chance. Them. Don't worry, I'll make you look good. You look great already. Okay, so first question, do you mind just saying and spelling your first and last name? My name is Solobia Hutchins, S-O-L-O-B-I-A-H-T-C-H-I-N-S. So general thoughts on what's happening? General thoughts is, there's a whole lot of general thoughts. I have friends that I have a friend that owns uh, that owes five thousand dollars on a house, and they refused to to make arrangements for him. And he had his house for thirty plus years. This is not okay. People that live and pay for the houses for twenty five plus years, they already pay for them, their homes, and because of taxes, they won't even negotiate with these people. This they need to negotiate more with with homeowners instead of just taking their house. What 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 is he gonna do when his house is taken? You know what I mean? Where is he gonna go? He's a single person. No single person has the right to like they have rights to shelter, but you gotta go sleep at Worthington Street, worrying about if you're gonna get hurt, you're gonna get killed, anything. You know what I mean? He's too old to be sitting in a um in a Worthington Street shelter. He needs to be in his home, in his home where he's comfortable and he has no and he's safe. Right. And when you see people like Mr. Forbes and your friends being kicked out of their homes, what what goes through your mind when you hear that? Nobody should be get housing is a human right. Everybody should have access to homes, safe homes. You know what I mean? And that's just, that's what I think. All right, anything else you'd like to add that I haven't asked? No, stop the auctions, that's it. City of Springfield, Dominic Cerno, stop the auctions.